Hi, I'm Aaron with PRP Seats, and I'm gonna try and make this confusing table of harnesses make sense to you. So we changed up the way we do our race harnesses. Our play harnesses and all the different colors with, with sewn on pads, all that stuff staying the same. But if you're gonna be racing, we've made some improvements to try to simplify things and break down exactly what you guys need for a race harness. We're gonna divvy this up into kind of three categories here. We've got our two inch, which is a two inch shoulder, two inch lap. We got our three inch, three inch shoulder, three inch lap. And we got our combo, two inch shoulder, three inch lap. Now each one of these have very similar options um, that I'll discuss later with, over here with different lap belt options and mounting options. Um, but let's go over these three categories and the biggest differences between these. So with the introduction of the Hans device, two inch shoulder harnesses have become fairly acceptable in the off-road racing industry. And we are really pushing the two inch lap belt as well because we feel you can get it tighter than a three inch belt. And according to SFI standards, is just as safe as the three inch. So our 5.2 race belt is obviously all two inch webbing on the shoulder and the lap. All of these, we have made the pads removable so they, they can Velcro on and off. If you're play riding and you want the pad, put it back on. <clears throat> if you're racing, we obviously recommend removing the pad and this two inch harness is gonna fit down in your Hans device much nicer than with this pad on. The <clears throat> mounting hardware comes with bolt-in tabs and you can remove this bolt-in tab and wrap this around a bar we also made that same mounting option on the lap belts for all of these. But we have a, a, the three bar slider with the bolt in tab and you can bolt this in, wrap it around the tube, which on the lap belt is not recommended. Uh, we either recommend you bolt it in or you buy the clip in pack and clip in the lap belt. The five point harness obviously comes with the fifth point crotch belt with the exact same mounting. And in the 5.2, we have three different styles of lap belts, and I'll go over those in a minute. On the three inch, the reason why we've offered the three inch belt is it is basically what everybody expects to see out of a race belt. It's what's been around the longest. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of personal preference and opinions on this is the way to go, and that's why we offer it. Again, we recommend the two inch. It's just as strong, you can get it tighter than the three inch. If you're putting a three inch wide strap versus a two inch wide strap, that two inch wide strap is gonna get down into your hip bones and pull your hips exactly where they need to be in your seat. But we are still offering the three inch because it's been the industry standard for so long and we feel some people are gonna have some personal preferences of that's the, the way to go and so that's what we've got. This has the exact same options as the two inch, removable pads. So if you're racing, you can, you can remove those and still fit this fairly well in your Hans device. <clears throat> uh, same mounting options. Like I said here, we've got the, the three bar slider with the bolt-in tab. You can wrap that around the tube, around your bolt-in tab or your clip-in tab. And your lap belt has the exact same mounting options. Obviously it comes with a fifth point, same mounting options as well. So for years, the Three inch being the industry standard, um, when people started requesting Hans devices, a lot of us were sewing the webbing down and making a, a hybrid type belt where it's two inches up top, three inches down below. Um, and we've gotten away from this by, <clears throat> by, by providing these options. So we're not doing the, the three inch belt sewn down or the two inch converted to a three inch anymore. We are just going either a two inch or a three inch we feel like you're getting the exact same safety out of either one of these options. And so we are ditching this two to three combo here. Over here, we have a, a kind of a combination of, of the best of both. We have the two inch shoulders and the three inch lap. So for you guys that really love the, the, the feeling of the three inch belt, you can still run that on the lap. And if you need the two inch for a Hans device, now you've got a two inch shoulder up top for the Hans device, removable pads, same mounting options as, as we discussed earlier. 
So this is kind of a hybrid between the two. So you'll notice on all of our race belts that we have eliminated the sternum strap. So the, the sternum strap is intended to keep your belts on your shoulder in the right spot when you get in an accident, basically that they are where they're supposed to be. So as long as you're running a race seat that has harness slots in the right spot, holding your belts where they need to be, you don't need the sternum strap. Uh, the downside of the sternum strap is in an accident, your body is still going to move forward, that sternum strap is gonna come up and you're gonna cut it with your neck. You're gonna break it with your neck. That's the reason why we've made these plastic. But if you have the proper seats, which we're assuming if you're racing, you have the proper seats, that's why you're buying these harnesses, you do not need this plastic sternum strap to hold your shoulders in place. All of our seat belts come with a removable bolt-in mounting tab. We also offer this kit, which is five clip-in tabs. So you get, you get the clip-in tab that you can put on yourself using the three bar slider and also five eye bolts, which you can mount to your chassis, clip in, and then run a cotter pin through these small holes here when you're done. I've discussed the three different seat belts the uh, two inch, three inch, and, and three by two. Each one of these seat belts comes with three different lap belt configurations. So standard, you're going to get what we call our standard seat belt adjusters, and it's in a pull down configuration. Meaning when you're sitting in the car with it bolted in, you are pulling down to tighten it up. This lap belt, we call our easy adjuster lap belts. You notice it's not the steel roller adjuster. It's an aluminum adjuster that you can relieve the pressure by lifting up. Exact same that's on all of our shoulder harnesses. You can get these upgraded adjusters on the lap belt. And again, this is in a pull down configuration. Another lap belt configuration is a pull up option. The adjuster is now farther away, but as you pull up, it's getting closer. You can tell that if you had this mounted incorrectly, you could get to a point to where you could never get these tight. So something you need to do when you're using a pull up belt is the mounting needs to be adjustable. And that's why we have done this three bar slider with the tab on it is you can adjust where this mounts now to where you can get this all the way up to here to where the, this side is really short, really long, whatever you need. The goal is getting this adjuster <clears throat> next to the edge of the seat, right on top of your hip. That way you still have some room to tighten this up and you, this adjuster doesn't end up stuck down in the seat or on the outside of the seat. So mounting these <clears throat> is, takes a little more effort, a little more fine tuning because you need to adjust this. You're gonna have to actually adjust this outside mounting point for every different size driver you have, if there's a drastic difference between, between drivers. If you've got a really big guy and a small guy driving the same vehicle, this is definitely not the setup for you. The pull-up is not the setup for you. This would be, if you have two very similar size driver or the same driver every time, then spend the time to get this mounted properly to where this is tied to the chassis, the adjuster's right here on your hip, and you've got that small throw in the in the adjusting mechanism to get these tight. So here is our last lap belt, which we have only made for the all two inch or the two inch shoulder with three inch lap. So this lap belt's not available on the all three inch and it is the ratcheting uh, belt. This belt on the non-ratcheting side mounts just like a normal seat belt. It has the pull down with an easy adjuster. On the other side it has a ratchet, you can obviously mount this on either side. The upside to this is you can get this extremely tight. It is really awesome to race with a ratchet belt. Uh, you, your hips are not moving. They're, they're securely planted when, you, when you're running something like this. The downside to this is figuring out how to mount this in an area where you can still reach it and have room to operate the ratchet. So <clears throat> you can see the space that it takes up. You also need to make sure that you are ratcheting it just like a tie down, you need to have a full turn on this barrel 
to keep it secure while you're racing so it doesn't come loose. And this is the, uh, this is the third option on, a, on the lap belts. We've been asked a few times, do you have three inch mounting hardware? And that's not something that we offer. It's not something that's industry standard. You'll notice that even on a, on a three inch belt here, we're using two inch wide hardware and the belt is just folded over through there. That's, that's perfectly fine. That's how we've tested them. And they've, they've passed the strength test with them folded like this. So if you get a you know, clip-in hardware from us, it's slotted for two inch. If you're using a three inch belt, you will have to fold it similar to the way they, way they came. Well, that's a wrap on our new race harnesses. Hopefully you are thoroughly confused or been clarified a little bit on some of the issues with our new race harnesses. And if you have any questions, please check us out at prpseats.com or any of our available retailers.